people being able to, to respond uh, non-verbally, um, it's not a setting that's turned on by default uh, in, in Yale's Zoom account. So I do just want to quickly show uh, where you would need to go to turn that on. So I'm just going to just share my screen real quick. Um, so you may be familiar with this page. Uh, this is just your, your profile page when you log in at yale.zoom.us. Uh, but you can always go to settings. And then in the in meeting basic settings, um, there is an option uh, called nonverbal feedback. And so this will be off by default, but you can just switch it on using this toggle here. And what that allows people to do is just have more options in terms of um, in terms of how they can communicate you with you nonverbally through the participants tab. And so you can you can see that the, these tools. Um, if you open your, your participants tab, that they're just located down, um, down at the bottom. And so there's a number of tools here. Um, you can say yes or no, people can prompt you to go slower, faster, thumbs up, thumbs down, um, say that they need a break. Um, and as well as, as, well as um, being able to raise their hand. Um, and just since I see a question come in here, um, that was just in your, um, in your profile page at yale.zoom.us. And so we'd like to ask, ask of you um, if you're familiar with these or not familiar with them. Um, if you go to your participants tab and you can just say uh, yes or no for whether or not um, you've used these participant icons on Zoom before. Great, so it looks like a, a number of you um, are familiar with them. And I would just like to point out that um, in addition to the yes or no, this is where students could also use the raise hand feature. Um, that would just be another option that they would have um, in the meeting as well. Thanks, Brian. So as, you, as Brian was sharing, um, you might think about using these participant responses when you just want a quick sense of where all students are. Um, you know, the quick yes, no binary answers, thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, and works pretty well for a small or mid-sized class who can quickly scan through. Um, one thing to note about these participant responses at the, is that they're not an accessible Zoom feature. So some students may need accommodations if they were to participate in this way. Um, and also they will not be included in a recording. So just something to keep in mind as you use these features. And you might consider that for a large class, it could be hard to scroll through all those responses and get a sense of where they are. Um, there are little number tallies that appeared. I know I was able to see that as a host. You may or may not have been able to see that as a participant. Um, so if you really get trying to get a sense of the entire room, you might want to consider a poll. Um, 